correlations in SPSS. If we have two numeric variables, for example, exposure to brand advertisements and brand awareness, then a correlation coefficient expresses the association between the two variables. Let's first have a look at the data. Let's create a scatter plot for the two variables, just a simple scatter plot. Let's select the exposure variable on the horizontal axis and brand awareness on the vertical axis and paste run. So here we see the data. If exposure to brand advertisement goes up, then brand awareness tends to go up as well. This indicates a positive correlation. Note that the Pearson correlation coefficient assumes that the association is linear. Let's add a linear line to this diagram. Double click it to open the chart editor. In the chart editor, select the option add fit line at total. A linear fit line is selected by default and just don't attach a label to the line. Apply, close, close and here we are again. Now this linear line expresses the association between exposure and brand awareness according to the Pearson correlation coefficient. At the left, however, you may see a dot that is quite distant from the other dots and it may pull the line quite a lot towards it. This kind of isolated dot is called a bivariate outlier and the Pearson correlation coefficient is more sensitive to such outliers than, for example, the Spearman rank correlation. Okay, so perhaps the association is linear, perhaps the outlier is a bit of a problem, so let's have a look at both the Pearson correlation and the Spearman rank correlation. We can find them under correlate bivariate. We have to select the variables for which we want the correlations to be calculated, so that will be exposure and brand awareness. Pearson's correlation coefficient is checked by default. I will check Spearman as well to get both, and basically this is what we have to do. Let's paste and run. The first table gives us the Pearson correlation. The Pearson correlation between exposure and brand awareness is 0.46 which is a substantial positive correlation. The p-value is well below 0 0.001, so we would reject the null hypothesis in this example. And the null hypothesis is that the correlation between the two variables in the population is zero or absent. We reject that hypothesis, so we may assume that also in the population there is a correlation. Now let's have a look at the other table. Spearman's row is a non-parametric correlation. Its value is quite similar in this example to the Pearson correlation. It is 0.47, again with a p-value well below 0 0.001. In this case, it doesn't make a lot of a difference which of the two correlations you would report. The substantive conclusion will be exactly the same. There is a positive, moderate to strong correlation between exposure and brand awareness. Now, are the assumptions met? We're using a t-distribution for the Pearson correlation, which assumes that the variables are normally distributed in the population. You may check this with the histogram for the sample, but if you do that, you should be aware that the sample distribution can be quite different in shape than the population distribution. Let's basically just assume that the variables are normally distributed in the population. For the non-parametric correlations, the requirement is that the sample size is not too small, say over 30. And in this case, we have 62, so that will be fine. 